Digital Activism. Fundación Carisma, Colombia. A civil society organization in Colombia has been making big changes in the country's online community. Fundación Carisma is devoted to encouraging the use of digital technology and enhancing freedom of expression online. They offer a rare space for Colombians to discuss the issues surrounding human rights and technology. The organization tackles problems like harassment of women online through a mix of research, advocacy and digital tools. The extent of online harassment towards women in Colombia has chilling effects. Women have turned to self-censorship and withdrawal from online debates in order to preserve themselves. For Nacion Carisma wants women to engage in conversations about harassment and stand up against abusers. One of their initiatives, the Machitrol Alert, uses humor to tackle misogyny online. People upload screenshots of their abuse and give it a stamp to mark the severity. Incurable Machitrol, Recoverable Machitrol, or Machitrol Alert. For Nacion Carisma provide an alternative course of action for women facing abuse online, while drawing attention to the problem in a way that opens up discussion. They have also hosted workshops and events across the country to raise awareness. Fantastic and Charisma are so inspiring because these are women that are coming together using the mediums of technology in order to call out the misogyny and the intimidation that's within those societies and to get young women to understand their rights and the responsibilities that governments have to them. Tackling Colombia's restrictive copyright legislation has also been one of their goals. A young student, Diego, faced criminal prosecution for posting a publicly funded master's thesis online. Thanks to the support of Carisma and other organizations, Diego was acquitted. For Nacion Carisma is paving the way for online gender equality in Colombia. There's still a lot to be done, but thanks to their efforts, the country is one step closer. Mohamed Al Mascati, Middle East. Mohamed Al Mascati is an activist from Bahrain. Offering digital security training to activists around the world, he has made huge progress for online freedom of expression. As the Frontline Defenders Digital Protection Consultant for the Middle East and North Africa, Mohammed has been teaching activists how to withstand government attempts to censor the public. The MENA region is one of the most oppressive areas in the world for human rights defenders. App and software developers often fail to provide products and instructions in Arabic, meaning that many people are vulnerable to online surveillance. By using virtual private networks, Mohammed has secured precious content from government interference. Mohammed al Muscadi's work is really inspiring because he's out there on the ground doing activism. He's showing people how they can best use the infrastructure and how they can keep themselves safe at the same time. In 2018, he went to Iraq. Clashes between protesters and Iraqi forces were developing, and the government was actively pursuing websites that reported the conflicts. By teaching activists how to circumvent censorship, they were able to keep their websites running. He has also been active in creating training manuals on digital security in Arabic, therefore distributing essential knowledge to vulnerable people. But his efforts haven't gone unnoticed. In May 2014, he was kidnapped for three days and interrogated. He has been banned from travelling to at least five countries, making it harder to support those in need. Mohammed's resilience under these circumstances is what sets him apart. He has been able to target specific problems in the MENA region and create practical solutions. SFLC.in, India. Internet shutdowns in India are happening more often than ever. The country experiences more blackouts than anywhere else in the world, with 113 in 2018 alone. Tracking these shutdowns has become increasingly important for citizens and journalists in their fight for internet freedom. Software Freedom Law Center have created the first initiative of its kind. They've been tracking internet shutdowns in a real-time interactive map and sharing this resource so that local institutions can be held accountable. Their latest feature allows citizens to report a shutdown and describe how it affected them. The internet belongs to all of us and the act of switching it off makes it feel like it belongs to the state and only the state. To fight to protect that is essential. The SFLC wants to deepen the understanding of economic losses caused by the shutdowns. The organisation has noticed a staggering increase in the number of shutdowns and a pattern has emerged. 
they often coincide with political unrest or examinations. Service providers do not notify the public of a shutdown, making SFLC service crucial. Despite the government creating the Digital India project, which maintains government's websites, internet connections have become less and less reliable. The organisation brings together lawyers, policy analysts and technologists to fight for digital rights and produce reports and studies on the state of the Indian internet. Through their legal team, they have conducted landmark litigation cases, petitioned the government on freedom of expression and internet issues, and campaigned for WhatsApp and Facebook to fix a feature that has been used to harass women online. Their efforts have drawn attention to a growing problem which has had devastating effects on the country. SFLC have made groundbreaking progress in the fight for internet equality in India and have found an unexpected way to hold authorities accountable.